Good morning, everybody. From the great state of Tennessee, we hail from the west side over here in God's country. But it is a pretty day and got on some long sleeve, my little hoodie here. And I'm enjoying these cooler days while they last because I know the time's coming when that old heat and humidity is gonna come back, but that's just part of it. But we're gonna take care of a few animals this morning, get some water troughs filled up with water, get these steers fed, feed these mouthy goats, check on the other cows, stick around. So we are still feeding hay. I mean, the grass is coming on really good and it's getting real close. Just trying to let this back pasture get a little taller before, uh, before I turn the cows out on it. So we are still feeding hay right now. So we do have somebody coming from Somerville to get our last baby goat. So the little male right here. It's his last few days here on the farm before he finds a new home, but the last two went to a good home. They went together, so I was glad about that. Getting this water filled up. Steers are waiting patiently for theirs. You boys are looking pretty good. So update on the New Holland. Nothing's really changed. Found a really good guy to work on it. He's a young fella and uh, he told us that his wife was gonna be having a baby anytime, but he was hoping he could get to it. But we kind of got everything torn down, got the cylinders, you know, getting new seals and stuff put in them. And like two days later, he calls and tells me that looks like the baby's coming sooner than later. So we wish them the best and that tractor can sit there. It ain't hurting a thing because we're using the John Deere and stuff to put out hay. So. Like I said, best of luck to them and new baby. And if you're interested in the uh, drought situation, I just looked at the drought monitor this morning and where I'm at, we're still in the drought. Still in the moderate, but all around us is kind of going away. So hopefully we're on the uh, tail end of this. I think we got some more rain coming tomorrow and next week. So like I said, we may come out of this drought they're so impatient if you don't get their feed to them they'll start tearing up stuff i think you guys could tear up an anvil So much quieter when everybody's fed. What do you want, Lakota? He's already been fed and he's wanting more. Looks like I need to put a little, little hay out for the goats. You know, another thing, I just look at this beautiful place that we live in. Tennessee is home to me. It always will be home for me. I was born here and I'll die here. But, you know, if you woke up this morning, I'm bad about it myself, but we should be giving thanks for another day. Look at these cows. What a beautiful sight. 
Look at that calf right there, boy. He's a chummy one. He's a fat boy. So I had just been uh, putting that mineral uh, bucket or whatever you want to call it just on the ground, but I don't know why, but I remembered seeing this down in one of the old pastures down there to stand for it. I don't know that it matters, but it looks like it, it's easier for them. And, you know, it's got a hole in the bottom of it, so being up off there, let it drain. And yeah, I know it don't have a cover over it or whatever, but... We're supposedly using this stuff, this wind and rain. It's supposed to perform well and be weather resistant or something to that effect, but we'll see. They seem to be liking it. They're eating it like crazy. I mean, I've had other mineral out, but this one's got the high magnesium in it. There's a the little fella. Oh. Guess I didn't bring my knife. Yeah, like I said, my other videos, man, I wish I had some more goats. This time of year, they're all spoken for and I've got calls after calls. I need to take that ad down so people will quit calling, but I'll make sure this lady comes Saturday to get them. If so, I'll take it down. But yeah, if I had some more, dude, I could sell the heck out of them. Perfect timing. Water is right to the top. Go ahead and put a little in here for the goats. Tell you one thing I need to put on as a priority list. I gotta get this hot, hot wire back going. It's down in a few spots where the goats are. Like the cows. I've never had the cows get out except for one time the gate was open. I don't know who did that, but I just shoot them right back in there. But uh, them goats are like Houdini. They'll find a way to get out, but they'll get popped by that hot wire. They learn to respect that hot wire real quickly. But, let's see. I want to say, uh, yeah. There's the hot wire laying on the ground. That ain't helping a thing. I look crazy. Let's go into the goat barn with an ax. All right. Which one of you did it? Kid, you look guilty. Just kidding. I forgot my knife, so we're gonna use that to cut these uh, bands off of this hurt like a charm you might think to yourself is it really that important to cut those off and I didn't think so but I did learn more than once come to check on the goat and then what happens one of them's got their foot tangled up in it one of them got their horns tangled up in it and was stuck 
guess that's another lesson on why it's important to check on your livestock every day because if I wouldn't have found them, it might not have been good. But I do have to go into work today, so we got all the animals taken care of. But along with grazing time coming, that also means the yard is growing. So I have to put on a new wheel on my finish mower and uh, grease everything up and get ready to mow. Case loves it because he gets to help me mow. up ready to mow just gotta pick up my little buddy Hey buddy. Hey buddy. 